Hey there, Wes here. Welcome to part five of the Build a PC series. This is going to be going over the the final parts list. This is the these are all the cooling parts for the computer. Uh, like I said in my last video, like my last computer was, this computer is also going to be liquid cooled for the most part. So we're going to have a lot of liquid cooling parts here to go to show off. Well, first things first, we have our water pump. This is a SwiftTech pump. It's a 185 gallons per hour pump. It's got half inch barbs on it. It's a pretty powerful pump. It's pretty much overkill for what I'm doing, but got a good deal on it, so that's what I'm using. We're using that for our radiator. This is from Cool Ants. This is an aluminum uh, radiator, 240 millimeters. Like I said, it's all aluminum. It's just like a uh, basically just like a car radiator. And you mount fans on here and pulls the air through and draws the heat out of the water and it circulates through and next thing we have a lot of these uh, compression fittings they thread on to all the parts and allow you to connect uh, hoses to everything you just you can buy these by different sizes depending on what size tubing you want to use um, we have several pieces of 3 8 inch copper tubing like you saw on my last PC I bent uh, all my tubing out of copper it makes it look neater the uh, plastic tubing tends to kink and I don't, I don't really care for the way it looks, but the copper tubing looks really good, and I like how it works. And then we have some, uh, just some pieces, a piece of vinyl tubing that I can cut short lengths out of and use this to, to attach the compression fitting on one side to all the parts, and then the copper tubing will be clamped on next to it. So this is kind of like a... Uh, Use these for uh, to adapt thing to adapt to the the copper tubing to the to the cooling parts. We have a small little clear reservoir here. This is Swift Tech also. Mount this somewhere in the case and just hold a little bit extra water and have a place for the water to return to when it's come back. Got some hose clamps here. These are reusable hose clamps and they'll. You know, clamp things down nice and tight and make a good seal and make sure no water leaks out because water on the inside of a computer is not such a good thing. So, And we're going to be using these Silverstone fans. These are really high quality fans. They have like 110 CFM. They're really powerful. Really good fans. So got several of these. Next thing we have is a uh, this is a coolant flow meter. This has like a little blade inside of it with an RPM sensor on the bottom. So as the water flows through, the, the blade will spin and then the RPM sensor will pick it up. And you can plug this into uh, like say your motherboard. So in case you're away from your computer and the water stops flowing for some reason, you can set it to shut down. The RPM sensor is not sending any signal to the motherboard. You can tell it to shut down. So if you're away and pump stops working, you're going to save your computer from completely being destroyed. That's a good thing to have. Mm. For our CPU, this is the Coolant CPU 340 cooling block. And it has a nice little diamond design inside, uh, raised like pyramids all in, inside of here where the water's flowing through to give a really good heat dispersion through the water. It comes with all the different kind of brackets and stuff you need to mount it on your motherboard. screws and everything, so this is pretty basic, but it's going to be better than the cooling block I had before. Final thing we have is the, the new cooling block for the video card. This is for a uh, this is for the new NVIDIA 260 and 280 GTX cards. Cool Ants also. It's basically like the old one, except the old one was gold color, and this is more of a smoke color, but it's the same thing. Heavy piece of copper, water flows through it, cools things down. So, I think that's about it for the cooling. This is something we're gonna probably do a long video on explaining all the different things as I put them in and how I put it all together and how how to make sure it uh, stays leak free and works well. So, stay tuned. The next video will start building. 